Mr Finch said the European Union's lack of intervention to protect Catalan independence supporters from the violence seen after Spanish riot police officers led a brutal crackdown on the non-binding referendum last Sunday provided a blueprint for other regions seeking independence. Horrifying images showed riot police lashing out with batons when Catalan local attempted to vote in an independence referendum deemed unofficial by Spain's government last Sunday. Nearly 900 people were injured after pro-independence supporters pushed ahead with the vote despite it being deemed illegal by Madrid. Almost 2 million people cast their votes despite the heavy-handed response from police, with 90 percent agreeing Catalonia should break away from Spain, according to a local count. Gettyeu.parl The European Union could collapse under its failure to condemn violence in Catalonia, blasts MEP Those Catalans that have looked to the EU for support will be sorely disappointed Raymond Finch speaking in the European Parliament in Strasbourg, Mr Finch blast We now have a template which every independence movement on our continent can use to provoke unrest. Mark my words, by their actions, Mr Rajoy and his advisors have lit a bonfire under your Europe. The fact that the EU institutions and its leaders have failed to recognize the human rights abuses which have taken place and instead of focused merely on legalistic verbiage shows how shallow the foundations of this project really are. Any ruling order that can condone acts of state violence has no popular legitimacy. Those Catalans that have looked to the EU for support will be sorely disappointed. Conservative MP Andrew Rosendell also condemned Brussels for its failure to intervene in the violence, as two convoys of trucks full of Spanish military are said to be traveling to Barcelona. Mr. Rosendell told BBC Daily Politics it is atrocious that in what is supposed to be a modern democratic country like Spain, a member of the European Union, you're seeing effectively police being given political instruction to beat up people in a democratic referendum. Now, it may not be a constitutional referendum in Spanish law, but it's still a reflection of how people feel, and to allow them to vote without intimidation would have been the right policy. What is happening in Spain today should bring shame on Spain and shame on the European Union. 2. October 3, 2017 People clash with Spanish Guardia Civil instead of condemning the violence, European Union bosses instead issued a shocking ultimatum to Barcelona. Brussels warned Catalonia risks abandoning the European Union by splitting from Spain, as the bloc scrambles to avoid a cattle exit which would see the bloc disintegrate further after an hour de chaotic 18 months. A spokesman for the European People's Party, the largest group inside the European Parliament, said Catalonia needed to acknowledge the truth. He said someone needs to tell the Catalan people the truth. If you contest the law to abandon Spain you also need to know that you abandon the EU.